FRED stands for Federal Reserve Economic Database. That's the website you'll be going to, and here's the web address at the St. Louis Federal Reserve. FRED makes it easy to access data. The simplest approach is to look at at a glance, which gives you access to recent popular statistics simply by rolling the cursor over a graph icon. For example, here's the CPI, the year-to-year -year change, which is a measure of headline inflation. And here is the compound annual growth rate of real GDP, which is a measure of economic growth. If we want to look at the levels of these data instead of the changes, click on Popular Series and we can once again roll over the graph icon and see the level of real GDP or the level of the Consumer Price Index. And if we want to see the actual data for the Consumer Price Index and a graph, we click on that link and there's the most recent observation together with a graph and we can obtain the last five observations by clicking quickly. There they are. Suppose we want to make our own graph. Let's go to Data Tools and then Create Your Own Graphs. We'll do so by typing in the FRED data code into the search box under Add Data Series. The real GDP FRED data code is GDPC1. We select the correct data series and then hit Add Data Series. There's our graph. Now we can modify it. Let's start by changing the date range. We'll begin with 1960 instead of 1947. We can do so two different ways. The first option is to drag the scroll bar to the desired date at the bottom of the graph. Or, if you have more specific dates in mind, you can type them directly into the date box at the top of the graph and then press Enter. Now let's modify the appearance of the graph to submit it as a homework assignment. To change the, the appearance of the actual line on the graph, click on Edit Data Series 1. Let's make the line thicker. And to make it more visible, let's change the color to red. Notice that the graph will update automatically, and a small window will pop up in the bottom right-hand corner alerting you that a change has been made. GDP tends to weaken in recessions, which are marked by those gray bars in the graph, but it's not that visible in this particular picture, except in that last downturn. To make it more visible, let's change the units from levels to percent change from year ago. Now it's pretty obvious. Let's prepare the graph for submission as an assignment by changing its format. First, let's make it bigger. And now, let's change the background color to white. And let's make the text size bigger so it's easier to read. That looks pretty good. And you can now see fairly easily that in each recession, GDP tends to weaken. And usually, it falls below year-ago levels. Let's save the graph so we can use it again and also submit it as homework. First, we give it a name, and I'm going to save it in a category that I call Global Economy Demo. You can create your own category. To view the graph at a later date, you can click on View My Saved Graphs and select the category you originally saved it in. From here, you can either download the data directly to Excel or you can look at it again by clicking on the title.
There it is. This is pretty good. I like the format, so I'm going to save the settings so I can use them again in the future whenever I want to make another graph for homework purposes. Those settings can be reapplied just by clicking Apply Saved Settings. Now I want to save this graph to submit it as an assignment, so I click on the Export tab. As you will notice, there are a few different file formats we can export and save the graph image as. Let's choose to export it as a PDF. To save the file onto your computer, click the desk icon in the bottom right hand corner. Then select where you want to save the file and give it a name. Thank you very much for watching.